I enlisted in June of 68, and my first duty station was McHale's Navy in Key West. I served on a PBR as a gunner on a, on a forward gun mount. So I, I've got a great deal of pride in my brothers that I served with, more so than myself. I mean, they saw an awful lot of action. And some didn't make it back, some did. And I'm one of the fortunate ones that made it back. I have advanced end-stage emphysema. When I was first told by my um, doctor at the VA, this is over a year ago, a year and a half ago, they couldn't do anything more for my breathing. They said, there's really not much more we can do for you. We'd like to turn you over to hospice. That scared the be jumbles out of me. I says, hospice? That means I'm going to die soon, right? And come to find out it wasn't that at all. They just take care of you and they give you the proper medication. And I've been, since they've given me the medication, I feel great. I feel blessed that I have VTAS on my side because you've been angels of mercy to me. I feel safe with, with VTAS. They're just, they're there. I know if I want to call them at three o'clock in the morning and I got a problem, they're going to be there. They treat their veterans with a lot of care. I've, I've talked to other veterans about the same thing. I don't know what I'd do without hospice and, and VTAS. They've been more than just, just the medical side of it. It's been a friendship. And they treat you with respect, such respect. Ah, Hi, Mr. Fikes, how you doing? I'm glad you came to visit me. I think of all these people, including Pastor Dimitri over here, as a friend. And when I see him, Pastor Dimitri, and come through that door, it's like a family member coming in to say hello. Okay. Because of who you are, I'll give you glory. Whenever she's here, she sings to me and sings beautiful hymns. She's got a voice of an angel. Aretha Franklin, eat your heart out. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you. We pray together, hold hands and pray. But it's made a big difference in my life, VITAS has. Don't be afraid to ask VITAS to help you, or hospice, because it's not a bad word. I'm grateful to VITAS just for being there.